additions and changes. Raised the level cap from 125 to 136. Added the start of the Nimbus Sea, which you can access by sailing southeast of Mount Orthus. Added three new stats, regeneration, armor piercing and resistance. Added three new exotic armor enchantments, healing, piercing and resilient. Added three new exotic gems, aventurine, fire opal and azurite. You can now buy up to 15 file slots on the title screen. Arcanium items now have different stats depending on the magic type they are conducting. Added strength items with stats that change depending on the fighting style they were made for. Added vitality items. Added 9 new arcanium items. Added 11 new strength items. Added 11 new vitality items. Added 19 new items. Added story injuries. Magics now have a basic attack that can be triggered by clicking mouse 1. Jewel effects now display underneath your total stats in your inventory. Hovering over a stat in your inventory will display the percentage increase it gives. Health regeneration now only scales with your base health and vitality and not your defense. The claiming flag is now automatically given to any player in a clan when they spawn in. You can now carry 5 million galleons. Weapons are no longer upgradable and are set to their minimum level. Added a badge and title for reaching the epicenter in the Dark Sea. Last, known locations displayed on wanted and assassination posters will now show the sub-area name if the island is large. It can no longer be foggy on islands that have a high daytime temperature. Added a new fishmonger's rod sold in Amarut in Samaria. Specific locations with extreme temperatures can now start damaging the player. Added four new smoothie cooking recipes. There are now golden versions of all fruits and mushrooms, changing their appearance, galleon value, increasing their rarity tier by 1, and multiplying their hunger yield by 3. Added a new book titled The Arcane Chronicles. Updated the title screen visuals, logo, and theme. Removed story level requirements for all parts except the presence. Removed repeatable quests. You're now given 300 galleons after returning to Mayor Rowan before completing the Frostmill Island story. Added tutorial quests. Any player past the Ravenna Secret story part is now automatically given a sailboat. Positive renowned players can no longer damage each other unless they are in a party with friendly fire turned on, fighting on a claimed island, fighting on an arena island, or fighting in Elysium. Added two underwater structures. Having 100% underwater structure exploration will now automatically reveal all underwater structures on your map and you won't be able to find sea charts anymore. You can now rarely find crafted jewels. The jewel pirates at Red Wake are now further spread apart. You can now take command of your ship to interrupt a ship quartermaster unloading order. Hovering over a kingdom's capital island now displays additional information on the map. Balancing changes. You no longer gain player kill XP in Elysium and you're automatically kicked if you are under the PvP level requirement. The chance of getting golden or legendary fish is no longer boosted by luck. Because of this, all legendary scales and luck potions were wiped. Combat logging now takes 7% of your renown instead of 5%. The lucky, luring and magnetic enchantments can no longer be obtained as enchantment scrolls. Rare enchantment scrolls can no longer be obtained from dark sealed chests. Adjusted some weapon stats. Added jewel crafting tables to Monero Garden and Elysium. Increased the chest tear up chance given by shovel enchantments. Dark sea lightning strike damage is now capped at 33% of the target's max HP. Regular items obtained from fishing now have a 50% chance of having the drowned modifier. When in the Dark Sea, silver and golden chests now have a 1 in 60 chance to give an exotic enchantment. Made a few adjustments to magic basic attacks. You can now only use your dodge reflex once midair and momentum retained has been reduced by 20%. Attack speed is now 25% less effective. Adjusted the ray cast of the beam spell and bullets in gun related skills. Blast spells will now explode if its clash hitbox touches a player or NPC. 
reduced magic basic attack power stat efficiency from 50 to 25%, removed the knockout mechanic that certain grab abilities used, all stuns no longer lock you in place, instead they apply a 50% slowness that lasts for one second, made the visual size and hitbox size of certain abilities now scale with attack size and size affinity, adjusted the multipliers of a few movement abilities, spell and technique energy costs will always take the same percentage of energy regardless of build or stat points, reduced the per stat scaling of attack size for spells, techniques and weapons when used by non-savant hybrid builds, changed the cap out for being considered a hybrid or full build, Slow magic imbuements now only affect the speed of attacks at 50% efficiency instead of 100%. You now equip weapons two times faster when in combat. The Vindicator's level is now 110 instead of 120. Changed numerous weapons base stats. Changed the formula for vitality reducing damage dealt. Reduced the stats given by gems. Magic platforms no longer refresh ground cooldowns or air movement abilities when landed on. Changed the multipliers of various magics. X Slash now uses the default blast hitbox. Blast spell now has the same size no matter what amount you set it to. Changed the multipliers of even more magics. Air Step no longer drains seawater energy or pauses heat drain. Adjusted the stats of Arcanium and fighting items. Increase the base range and decrease the clash hitbox duration of the beam spell. Made a few changes to the snare spell. Magic speed affinity no longer affects the speed given from speed aura spells. Attack size and size affinity now affects the size of the pulsar projectile at 25% efficiency. Surge now has grab immunity, damage fall off and lower size efficiency. The blast spell now has lower size efficiency. Made a few adjustments to boxing. Thermo Fist now barely gains heat when out of combat, applies the seared effect and pairs well with plasma. Made a few adjustments to Iron Leg, reduced the cooldown on drinking seawater bottles. Made a few adjustments to the crash technique. The knockback setting for Axe Slash, Uppercut and Rushdown no longer affects its damage. Made a couple adjustments to the Rushdown technique. Made a few adjustments to the shot technique. Fighting style speed affinity no longer affects the speed given from speed focus technique. Made a couple adjustments to Axe Slash. Made a few adjustments to Selino. Made a few adjustments to certain weapon abilities and enchants. Added some new armor sets to the NPC deck and wearable items pool. Defense given by items, jewels, enchants and modifiers has been increased by 22.22%. Reduced the max stamina cost of high jumping from 30 to 20%. Changed the imbue affinities of certain magics. Decreased water magic's damage on bleeding targets from 10 to 5%. Iron legs, dodge reflexes, distance has been reduced by 20%. Vitality's dodge reflexes, damage resistance now scales with the percentage of vitality in your build to a maximum of 40%. Made a few adjustments to the dagger's abilities. Made a couple adjustments to the Claws abilities. Made a few more adjustments to a few more weapon abilities. The Sunken Staff's Fury of the Sea ability no longer applies gel effects and attack speed now affects its tick rate and damage. Piercing Shot's Clash hitbox duration has been reduced by 30%. Trying to drink an invisibility potion while in combat or drink from a brew while having two positive status effects now gives an error and doesn't consume the brew. Drawback now only damages you based on your base HP and vitality. Defeating a player now restores 50% of your stamina. The charged enchantment can now be applied to cannons and siege weapons giving a damage and a range boost. Size affinity on magic imbued weapons has been reduced by 0.1. Reduced the turning speed penalty while having a damaged ship by 50%. Reduced the effect of agile potions by 25%. The healing effect cooldown has been increased from 1 minute to 2 minutes. Quest markers on the map UI now display when further zoomed out. Made a couple changes to the surge spell. Made a few changes to certain modifiers. Increased the per stat scaling of attack size for spells and techniques when used by non-savant hybrid builds. Made a few more magic related changes. Ranged weapon firing now deals 50% less damage to NPCs. We'll be getting updates roughly every month and the next update is planned to have the Kingdom Alignment feature. There will be an Easter event. 
Vtex is disappointed in how this update turned out, but he hopes the new update cycle makes up for it and it's only gonna ramp up from here. And that's it. Make sure to like the video and subscribe, but only if you want to, of course. Have a wonderful rest of your day, my fellow Magma Munchers. Good news.